So some years back, I moved from one state to another. We packed up this uh, massive trailer that I was going to drive to another state and tow my car on the back, and then my wife and kids were going to fly to where we're going, and we'd meet them at a certain location. So I'm driving on the street, and I'm actually taking these small little town roads in the middle of nowhere, and I'm driving along, and all of a sudden, my eyes are really dry. And so I'm blinking my eyes, really sticky, and I close it, and I open up, and my cornea rips, and now I can't see. So I could barely drive with one eye and I'm driving down the street and I'm like, now what? I need to pull off and maybe get some rest, right? So I pull off somewhere in some little town in the middle of nowhere and I find a little uh, Motel 6 or something and I go in there and I'm going to just take a nap, right? So I lay there for a couple hours, fall asleep and I, I'm like, okay, good. So it's all healed up. I don't feel it. And I open my eye and it rips again. I'm like, oh, no. I need to find an eye doctor. It's a Saturday, okay? So <laughs> I start walking on the side of the street looking for an eye doctor, you know, just stumbling around. And I happen to look up. It happens to be an eye doctor right, right down the street. I'm like, Phew. So I go up to the office, knock on the door. They says, oh, yeah, we can't see you until Monday because we're really backed up. And I'm like, no, I, I need to get on the road because I have to meet my, my wife and kids very soon. And so they said, I'm sorry, we can't see you. And I just basically walked right back to the doctor's office. And I said, listen, I need your help. I need to, you need to do something with my eye. I cannot see, I have to drive back. So he gives me a little couple drops of medication. Now I can see, cause it numbs the pain. I get back on the road. And then I eventually make it to my destination. What that was, was something called dry eye. So let's take a look at my whiteboard here. Dry eye, little did I know, that this was a vitamin A deficiency. So it'll be sticky and it can rip your cornea and it's very irritating. Also a vitamin A deficiency can cause night blindness. Now, typically when someone's deficient in vitamin A, it could be they're eating too much junk food. And in my case, that's what it was. Uh, or it could be a problem with the gallbladder so they can't extract the vitamin A from the food. But typically you're gonna get vitamin A from egg yolks, liver, butter, cod liver oil. Now, a lot of times people will say that uh, you can get your vitamin A from plants because there's a lot of vitamin A, but in reality, what you have in plants is the precursor called beta carotene, but the conversion is not that much. So you would have to consume a tremendous amount of vegetables to just get a little bit of the active form of vitamin A, which is retinol. And also as a side note, you need zinc to allow vitamin A to work. So you could be getting enough vitamin A, but not enough zinc. Zinc is in red meat. It's in oysters, shellfish. It's in liver. But you're not going to get a lot of zinc if you're eating refined foods and refined sugar. The next condition I want to talk about is something called retinopathy. You usually see that with diabetes. That's a problem with the retina. The retina is basically brain tissue that's extending into the eye it's picking up information and it's bringing into the brain so you can actually see. And diabetes is the number one cause of retinopathy. And so all this glucose is creating oxidation or rusting on your nervous system. It's a lot of free radical damage, a lot of problems. So the antidote to that is something called benfotamine. Benfotamine is a type of B1 that's made in a fat soluble form. So it can go into the nerve tissue. So many complications of diabetes, like peripheral neuropathy, like diabetic retinopathy, can be helped by taking higher doses of benfotamine. It can act as an antioxidant and it actually really helps to support the nervous system and the blood flow to the nerves, especially in the retina. Now we get to this thing called floaters, okay? When you consume protein with sugar, it causes this chemical reaction called glycation. So it sticks together and it becomes like glue and it gets stuck in the body. And that's what floaters are. Now, the way to get rid of floaters, one is just by changing your diet and that can handle it right there. Low carb can help it. And some people even need to do what's called carnivore for a month or two but also there's a condition called autophagy where your body is recycling 
damaged proteins, anything in the body, recycle that. And the way to get your body in autophagy is doing fasting. And this is why I recommend if you have floaters, you should be doing intermittent fasting and sometimes prolonged fasting. That can really help clean up those floaters if you have them. All right, let's dive into this thing called macular degeneration. Now, sometimes you'll hear age-related macular degeneration, and it's interesting how they put this cause, the age. You're getting older. That's what's causing this. I, I just don't buy it, and I don't think everyone, as they get older, gets macular degeneration. But the, first of all, what is the macula? Well, that's the back part of the eye that's extending out of the brain. There's a lot of things that can affect that. So you have blue light, okay, blue light. That's your LED light, the smartphones, your laptop. You also have, of course, the obvious stuff, alcohol, smoking, sugar. But the biggest thing is the seed oils. And so he's an MD that specializes in eye diseases. And he made this huge connection between seed oils and macular degeneration. So all these seed oils are going to lodge into this membrane and it's going to get stuck there for like three years. And so the problem is these are rancid oils and anything that increases inflammation like omega-6 oils, seed oils, are going to cause more of a degeneration, not just with the macula, but different parts of the eye as well. And of course, the antidote to that is to cut down on the seed oils and then increase the omega-3 fats. There's three natural compounds that protect you against macular degeneration. And that would be lutein, zeaxanthin, and mesozeaxanthin. And all three of these are carotenoids. So where do you get lutein, zeaxanthin, or mesozeaxanthin? Well, you can get it from green vegetables, yellow vegetables or fruits, orange vegetables or fruits. You can get it from egg yolks, seafood, like salmon and shrimp, and also grass-fed animals. I sent my beef into a study. I live on a farm and I, I raised some beef. Guess what? We had a tremendous amount of carotenoids in that beef. Now, also macular degeneration is the second cause of blindness in adults. And so when we start to increase these in our diet, we can sometimes improve our vision. All right, let's now talk about glaucoma. Okay, this is a an eye condition where you have a lot of pressure in the eye and um, the pressure is creating damage on the back part of the eye where the retina is. Now, I recently did an entire video on this topic that was based on a book by an ophthalmologist on taking high doses of vitamin D for glaucoma. And apparently there's some great results. When you normally check the blood, this doctor mentioned the current normal values are severely outdated especially for a vitamin D deficiency being like below 20 nanograms per milliliter. I mean, that's like so outdated. He recommends vitamin D levels to be between 100 nanograms per milliliter to 150 nanograms per milliliter. And the reason for that is that apparently this condition, there's a lot of evidence that it's an autoimmune disease. So if that's true, then you need to break through the resistance so you have to take a lot of vitamin D to penetrate that barrier and resolving the problem. And now let's talk a little bit about cataracts. Cataracts are an opaque situation with the lens of the eye. Sticky proteins develop in the body that become non-functional because you're consuming too much sugar in general. And the antidote is vitamin D in higher amounts. Another remedy called N-acetylcarnosine drops, if you can find them, and then zinc. All of these contain antioxidants that will give protection against the eye. So anytime you see like a, a vegetable or even a fruit that's dark purple or red or orange or yellow, all of those pigments are antioxidants that can greatly help the eye. Now, if you haven't seen my recent video on glaucoma, that would be a really good one to see next simply because of the amount of details I give you for vitamin D. So check that out right here.